Okay, so here we are. We are with Lego Assassin 57, and we are going to be taking a look at the name of the ship, please. USS Enterprise NX-01. Yep. And what is the length of this particular model here? Uh, it's half size, 116 meters. Ah, half size NX. I do like that. I do like that. I bet she handles well. Yep. Very nice. Nippy little thing. Yeah, it looks it because it's so. Th it's not. It's not. It's not tall, is it? Very flat ship. Yeah. Let's go classy lines. Right, well, we'll take a quick look around the outside. All of the key detail points are in place. I, th I didn't think it looked finished without the ribbing, so I put that in. Yeah. But just looking around, it looks like the way in is just there, is it, at the bridge? It No, it's, um, it's in the back. at the back where the shuttle bay is in the actual full version. I have to say, I really like the effect you've achieved by uh, mixing both hardened and unhardened hull. Yeah. yeah, I did like how that turned out. It looks really nice. I did, it's surprising it turned also, out so well. Also, how he did the uh, the nacelles with the blue light and ice crystal. Yeah, I first saw that uh, normal and hardened on the Gaia Sun builds, but the split warp nacelles is a really nice touch. What you, with the bar going down? Yeah, because you get away with putting that bar on at a distance. It looks right, but you wouldn't think yeah. it was that close because it kind yeah, of sticks out. Yeah, because uh, I I use images of well, actually I use my model of the NX01 to make it so. <laughs> Yeah. So moving inside, let's have a little walk down the corridors. The interior flows. It kind of goes from the back through the sh through the um, engineering down the corridor with the sick bay on the left, and then in, then in there there's a main little corridor with the core room with the turbo lift at the back of the bridge, and then there's some quarters at the front. There's some nice little windows. Mm -hmm. Look at this bridge. <laughs> have to have a cosy little bridge because of the half size. Right, number one. No, that's TNG. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> right, Commander Tucker. <laughs> I have to admit, nice. haven't actually seen Enterprise yet. Really? Nope. You call yourself a Trek fan? <laughs> yeah. I've seen Quantum Leap. I plan to watch Enterprise. <laughs> right. Haven't finished TNG yet, anyway. Waiting for the last series on Netflix. Very nice. Well, it's an excellent ship and an accurate silhouette, so you've achieved it looking correct without it being so big that it's cumbersome. So, well done. And yeah, I really like this Star Trek build. So, um,. Excellent job. The name of the ship again, please. An X01 Enterprise. And it's half scale, and obviously this is Lego Assassin 57. So, uh, for yeah, thanks for bringing this along. Oh, um, right. something yep. worth mentioning. It has yep. only di directional AMCs. Ah, let's take a look at that before we finish. Then, come on. I'll go up. Otherwise, I'll hit no, someone. No, just just turn 45 degrees. Well, it, oh yeah, because it's yeah. yeah. I'm not sure which is which direction, so I'll just yeah, fire them fine. in the order I've got them on the hotbar. Okay. Are you firing them? Because I can't see anything. I can't see them either. Oh, right. Neither can I. Yeah. I'll be back in one second, actually. That's alright. So basically, um, yeah, you've got the option of staying here or flying off at this point. So it's your choice. I'll just stay here then. Okay. Excellent. We're going to move on to the next person in the review. So, Hexacosticoron.